Hello children, Namaste. Today we are going to learn about sequencing. What is sequencing? Sequencing is the order in which the events occur in a pattern. When things or events are happen in an order, they form a sequence. It's very important to learn sequencing which helps in development. We can observe sequencing in our everyday activities. We can't change the order, it occurs in a particular order. For example, when we have to grow a plant, first we have to sow the seeds, water it every day and it will grow into a beautiful plant. And then this boy, he got a gift. He opened a present. He got puzzles. So now... He is making puzzles and now his puzzle is ready. Next, this girl, she wants to eat an ice cream. So first, she has to open the fridge. Take the ice cream. Close the fridge. And eat. Enjoy your ice cream. Next, so to get ready to school, first, we have to get up in the morning. Brush our teeth. Take bath and getting ready to school. So we can see sequencing in nursery rhymes also. Like when we sing rhymes, we follow the order. We can't change the order. For example, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout again. So this is our nursery rhyme. So now we will sequence this rhyme. So the first order. First one is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. It went up the spout. So, the first one is the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Second, down came the rain and washed the spider out. So, third is the sp it washed the spider out. Fourth, next. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout again. So this is a nursery rhyme sequence. So we can see the sequence in days of the week. Months of the year. Numbers. Alphabets. Etc. Now we will see an example of how to build a snowman. So first we have to roll three snowballs. Three snowballs. And then we have to stack the snowballs. Then we have we can decorate the face. Next, we can make mouth nose and stick you can add two sticks for the arms and la we can add a scarf and our snowman is ready
So while cooking a certain dish, we first make the ingredients ready and then follow the instructions on how to make step by step. So now we will learn how to make peanut butter sandwich. So for this we need two slices of bread and peanut butter. So I have cut, uh, I have taken two slices of bread. So first I will apply peanut butter. I'm taking little bit of peanut butter and I will apply it on our bread. Now I have applied the peanut butter on one side of the slice. So now I will close the bread in and our peanut butter sandwich is ready to eat. Stories to follow a sequence. Now we will read a story about a brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, red bird, yellow duck, blue horse, green frog, purple cat, white dog, black sheep, goldfish and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. So now we learnt a story about brown bear. Now we will do the sequencing activity. So this is the sequencing activity. So first, what did we see? Brown bear. Next, red bird. Next, yellow duck. Next, we saw blue horse. Then, green frog. Then, Purple cat. Then white dog. Then we saw black sheep. And then goldfish. And teacher. And the children. So this is the sequencing. So when we learnt about sequencing, we learnt few words. Like first, next, then, after, after that, next, last, finally. So these are called transition words. We use these words in sequencing. Hope you all enjoyed this learning about sequencing. Happy learning. Thank you everyone.